Hey everyone, over here we're gonna break down how to save voice notes on your iPhone in the easiest ways. Okay, if you've been trying to keep important audio recordings, this is gonna help a lot. So let's start right here. First method is using the Voice Memos app. What you're going to wanna do is open the Voice Memos app, tap on the recording you wanna save, then tap the More Actions button. That's the three dots. Now tap the Share button. It looks like a square with an upward arrow. Oh, great. This screen shows all the apps you can share to. If you want to save your voice note in the Notes app, you can go ahead and swipe left if you don't see notes right away. Sometimes the Notes app doesn't appear over here. If that happens, swipe all the way to the end and tap More. This screen shows all available apps. Under Suggestions, you can make out which apps can be added to your favorites. So tap Edit, turn on the toggle for Notes. Tap the plus icon to add it, then tap the blue check mark. Tap the blue check mark again to go back. Now the Notes app will appear in the share list. Tap Notes. Choose the folder where you want to save the voice note. Then tap Save. Anyways, that's adequate to store your recording safely. After that, open the Notes app and look for your saved voice note. It'll be right there ready for playback. Another method is even faster. What you're going to want to do is open the Notes app. Tap New Note, then tap the pin icon. Now select the Record Audio option. You'll see the voice recorder appear inside Notes. Tap the red button to start recording. You can pause and resume anytime you want. When you're done, tap the yellow check mark to save it. If you go back to your folder, your voice note will look like a mini audio player. To play it, simply tap the play button. Super bright, smart, and simple. You gotta keep this trick in mind if you wanna save audio without using voice memos at all. That's it. You're all set to save, organize, and play back voice notes across your iPhone. If you have any other questions or want to go after more iOS 26 tricks, ask below and I'll bring in the right steps for you.